Amazing. Oh, hello. How's What's it going? How's it going? You're I right. do. Dudes and people and dudes. Um, hello from me and everybody watching the Distraction Tactics Film Club. How are you? Where are you, man? I'm in Los Angeles, um, trapped in a little room. Um, look at all my stuff that I've moved in here with. Oh, nice. nice. That's how I live day to day, week to week, year to year. The suitcases. I don't know why. <laughs> don't own any houses. I just want uh, to nice travel well with some views and bin liners. Nice view. You... Yeah, I don't go out there much, do I? Have you had a haircut? <sighs> yeah, I've got a uh, board and my hair got too long, and so I got my kids to um, to cut it. Oh. They, I gave them uh, clippers and some scissors. And free rate. Um, they made a real mess, and then I had to clean it up at the end. And well, I, I found out like, the shortest bit that they'd done, and then I had to match the, the to that, oh, and then so go you, all, you, and then it turned out to be this one. You did the clean up. You did the clean up. Yeah, I know. I, I, I've um, I well, I've just found in my storage. Oh, is that for the? Is that for the? No, the nose. <laughs> Amazing. I need one of them, dude. I've tried. I, I've tried shaving my head so many times. I always leave very big patches. Um, that they mm. pointed out to me. It's just, it's a skill. It's a skill that I don't have. But you know, we're all having to make do in these situations, right? We're all trying to make do, guys. We're doing our best. We're doing our best. How are you, man? We're doing are you, our are you, best. Are you doing all right? I'm doing great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, congratulations. Got, yeah, I mean, you know. congratulations on winning an Oscar. Okay, <laughs> thank you. That's the most fucking thank you. Yeah, thing yeah in thank the world. you for reminding me of that. Um, I thought things were looking down this year, but that's right. Cast my mind back oh, yeah. a couple of months ago. That must have been so weird going from that to this, which is... To this room? This strange. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it's been cool. It's been, I mean, this is such a strange time at the moment, and um, as we all know. Yeah. Um, I like to think that, this, that there's, there's going to be a bit of a reset and that we'll, we'll all kind of come out of this sort of having reevaluated what's important and things. I mean, I've spent so much time with my kids the last couple of weeks. It's been amazing. Which must be and I wouldn't have done that if everything was back to normal. Um, I'd just be working and, you know, and I'd be singing and the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. <laughs> blah, 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 every time I went off to work. Um, but now it's just like, we're just, just doing everything together. It's cool. That's so nice. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a real, like, the, the sort of slowing down of everybody's lives, I guess, is a real reassessment of everything. Um, and yeah. I guess for someone like you who's traveling all the time, just, just forcibly having to be in one place for a while with the people that you love must be um, fucking awesome in some ways. It's great. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I love it. I love it. And yeah, I mean, like, the homeschooling thing is very difficult for those of you out there who've got kids. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's mental. It's impossible. Yeah, my sister's um, homeschooling. It my you, and, uh, it's tricky. Yeah, it makes you feel really stupid as well because like, the, the, the math, the math that I learned when I was young, they don't do anymore. So I'm trying to figure <laughs> out what she's doing. And then I'm like, that's wrong. And she's like, no, you're wrong. And then we have an argument. And, and then, like, um, let me check the internet because the internet will be right. That, that never lies, right? Yeah. 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 So I gave up on that and I'm just, we just like doing sewing and art and playing music and just dancing and stuff. The, uh, your version of school, what it would be if it was up to you. My version of school. I was shit at maths, but me. Yeah, no, me too. So it doesn't count. It doesn't even matter, right? Just, just some painting. <laughs> No, um, um, sorry for sorry. Apparently, so what's happening? Apparently, our Wi-Fi is very dodgy and it's big stations. Well, you are you very kindly joined us for week two of our film club, which we're doing to try and help distract people and get lots of people around the world who are at home by themselves included and chatting. Week one, we were in England for um, for Shaun of the Dead. This is week two. We thought we'd skip the whole way around the world to New Zealand for Hunt for the Wilder People, which is obviously one of your films, yeah. which we fucking love. And just wanted to, to chat to you about people sent us some questions. Um, yeah. yeah. So can I, can, should we fire away? Can I ask you some stuff? Well, guess what? It turned out that my schedule is, what? I'm on, I'm, I'm at a really important phone call. Hello. She's telling on us. Look at this. I didn't say that. A little bit. I didn't say that at all. You know what? I didn't say that. Hi. Hi. Say hi to the rest oh, of the world. 
You guys all right? <laughs> oh. oh my god! I, I scared, I scared them away. I scared them away. No, this is. That was, that was to me. Out. I'm out. I'm leaving. That was to me for not going, going, going along with her big lie about me saying that I'd let her have a drink. Anyway, what, um, what kind of drink? What was I saying? Oh, I was saying that that luckily. My schedule, I checked my schedule, I checked my calendar, and yeah. I'm free until about 2038. Oh, cool, me um, too. Yeah, me too. I think, I think probably so, all of us here are. This was easy for me. <laughs> well, thank there's you. Not, there's not, not much of an effort. Thank you, thank you. In fact, I need, the fr I need to talk to people. Because <laughs> oh. if I talk to a four-year-old any longer, this will do my head in. Yeah, well, it's, it's, clearly, it's clearly doing you wonders. Like, <laughs> um. I have some questions. I'm very bad at this, but I'm reading from a sheet. I've got an actual Do sheet because because uh, people sent stuff in, and I feel like you know it would be nice to it'd be nice to to say what they said. Uh, Ayun in Sudan said New Zealand is much more beautiful than I thought, which is obviously a very nice comment. Same. That's right. I mean, I I, really, I didn't think it was going to be beautiful, but it turned out mm -hmm. that it was. Um, and it was way more beautiful. Uh, we and obviously like the cinematography is amazing and shows off the country loads and I wanted to ask you off the back of Owen's uh, comment about you know the opening and closing shots what did, how did you shoot them is that a drone was it a helicopter that the opening was a helicopter uh -huh. we um, we sent um, uh, DP and um, I wasn't in that helicopter. I'm I was going to ask you in it I was, oh. in that, I was in the helicopter for the, for the big chase scene oh. um uh, in the, and it was on army land and we were in you know, a bunch of helicopters and I felt so sick. I didn't, I'd, I'd never really been, I'd been in one before, but not at speed when I didn't realize how fast they can go. And like the G forces in a helicopter. Yeah. It really messes with you. Especially if you're looking at a monitor and you're trying to like follow what the camera's doing. And then you're like, I you start spinning out. Um, did anyone do a vomit? Did anyone but, sick? No, nah, no one did a vomit. Okay. No one did that. That's good. Um, I did wee. I did a little wee, little, little, little wee wee in my on pants, the, though. On the helicopter, um, out of the helicopter, in your pants. Okay, you answered the question. Oh, no, this was a different time. This was oh, right. Party. So, um, <laughs> yeah, but the, uh, we had a helicopter at the beginning and there was a drone at the end because we ran out of money by the time we finished shooting. Cool. Nice. The, on the Look, chest, I, I, that chase. As a layman, I wouldn't have been able to tell. So I was just going to assume that you were in helicopters the entire time, even for the ground shots. You just were sitting in a helicopter. Oh, what, it's backwards. What? what? Okay, I'm gonna, I don't make it forward. Oh, Greta again. I love it. I love it. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's a that's a, um, a wonderful cat, and uh, and that's how it should be, right? Next, that's it. Next question. Next question. Um, so I wanted to ask you about uh, child actors because you managed to always find amazing ones and get really incredible performances out of them. Um, and, you know, Boy, Jojo Rabbit, It Will to People. Um, how'd you do it, man? Uh, Craigslist. Just put an ad out. So I was just looking for kids and uh, <laughs> see what, what turns up. Uh, <laughs> now, we, for every film I've done, I've auditioned like a lot, like a lot, like thousands of kids um you know just go through all different schools we send like the the casting agents out and they just basically just talk to thousands of kids and you you can find you can tell pretty fast like pretty soon in the conversation which ones have got something and which ones are just kind of they don't you know it's not really in them or it needs to be they need more development or something um, of, of their acting. Uh, and I, what I do is I try and find a kid that's as close, resembles as close as possible the character that I've written. And then when you found someone like that, so Julian, he wasn't that into hip hop and he wasn't, um, he hadn't been in foster care, but his, his general attitude and his, um, I guess his personality and his char his own character were very similar to what I wanted from the character that I'd written. So basically all I had to do was just get him to learn the lines. And then that was all my job really done. It was just him being himself. Because you don't want to ask kids to act. You yeah. don't want to act that they, to them. Hey, well, so, you know, in your backstory, 11-year-old, uh, um, when you were four, this happened and this happened. You don't want them thinking about anything like that. Did you get him into hip-hop? Do you think, did, he, did, he, did he really, like, get Not him? sure. No? <laughs> you Not tried. sure if I did, actually. You tried, though. 
it must have been an education of some kind. But yeah, he's so, he's so good at it. He's so funny. And obviously he's gone on to like pretty amazing things as well, which is, which must be fucking awesome for you to see. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, no, it's great. And he, yeah, he's gone on to do more stuff and um, it's really nice. Yeah. Because, you know, the fear is that you're going to use a kid in a film and then get their hopes up that there's a career out, you know, somewhere in, in this business, which is so difficult, even for grownups. Yeah. You know, let alone, let alone a you know, eleven year old kid. So when they do go on to do other stuff, that's amazing. But I always tell them early on, you know, this could be the only time you do it, so just enjoy it and you know, yeah. enjoy this time off school. Must have been and, a pretty full on shoot as well in terms of locations and amount of time yeah. out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. And he was, and he was like, because he was, you know, he, I think he was like eleven, um, and he wasn't used to being out in the wilderness and stuff. He's a city kid. And so, like, you know, sometimes, like, he did this great bit. I wanted him to sit on this, like, rotten log. Because we shot everything on location. And, um, and it was, like, there's all these spider webs all around it. And he was he looked at it, and he was like, I don't know if my character would sit on that. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I was like, well, I feel like your character would, you know. So he's so tired. He's like, nah, I think my character would just lean against this rock over here. So let's just do that. So... And how, 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 yeah. often, how often did he win in those situations? Or are you pretty much like, you're a kid, he, like, you're a kid you've got, you've got to listen to I him. Mean, I mean, I don't want to like have an argument with an 11-year-old and then eventually <laughs> they have to pull out, pull out the emotion card and then, you know, and then I'm, I see my other guys like I'm emotionally trying to force, abusing And trying to force a, kids a, a child things. to sit on a spidery, spidery log. Yeah, that's right. So I'm trying to emotionally scar them yeah, like, just for this film. So I would usually give in. And then, or try and figure out a way of like, of convincing them that it was their idea and oh, yeah. that's always a good one like reverse reverse psychology yeah. apparently it's yeah great, apparently it's great great tactic um i do the chemistry between between everyone in the film is like so it was amazing particularly like him and sam and and yeah it's as, as someone that watches films that loves them like obviously you want to believe that everyone is still friends and stuff it was that was that a film where everyone stayed in touch um yeah 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 i'm still very close to sam and Julian, and uh, and um, and there's also a lot of my other friends in the film as well. Rachel House, who plays Paula, the social welfare oh, worker. She's amazing. Um, yeah. She's she's basically in all of my films. She plays Jeff Goldblum's bodyguard in Thor. Um, yes, oh, she's, she's so good yeah. That. She, she's she's been someone. And she's also done a lot of the coaching of kids on my films as well, like the acting coaching because yeah. it's. You know, I, I, uh, directing a film, you don't really have much time after work to go and then teach the kid the lines for the next day and stuff because you're prepping so many other things. So yeah, if it's if it's someone who's never acted before, it's quite good to get someone else in to just to help them understand what the scene is and stuff. Oh, look at that lady behind me. Who's that? Mm. Who's she? That's um, that's I don't know what that the name of that painting is. Can someone else say that? Or say what it is if, if you're out there and you know it. Someone clever on the bottom. I've got we've got a lobster phone, the old classic lobster phone behind us. Oh, your Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. apparently, apparently our, our Wi-Fi is so atrocious that you can't see anything, and I'm a big pixelated mess. So sorry for that. Yeah, that's just the way that I remember seeing you anyway, because of being <laughs> on the vodkas and you're always a bit blurry to me anyway. Likewise, it's just this, this feels it feels completely normal and natural, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I know, oh man, I wonder when the next time that anyone, anyone will get to go out will be, I guess we'll see. Um, I had a question from, uh, from Moni in Saudi Arabia and was wanted to ask you, what movie do you go to when you need to pick me up, particularly at the moment? Um, I've been going to some, uh, romantic comedies. I don't know why. It just, it was just sort of just started. And then as things I'd never really, I'd never, like these films I'd never seen before. And I think just like being trapped in a house and not being able to like do much. I just really, I kind of appreciate anything at the moment. I watched <laughs> in one day, in one whole day, I watched uh, One Fine Day, with George Clooney and Michelle Pfeiffer. Excellent. Great. Um, Sleepless in Seattle, which I'd never seen. Wow, and, never seen it. Um, what do you think? Night, while you were sleeping with Bill Pullman and Sandra Bullock. Oh, great. Yeah. And, and uh, what's the other one? Uh, the other Nora Ephron one. Um, you've got mail. Was, oh, you've got mail. The, yeah, which, which, which um, I just like to think of the, the sort of the, the, 
the period of time where email was as mi as mystical as it is in that film. And what what's it like watching it through yeah. the lens of twenty twenty? Does it hold up? <sighs> not much. No, there's not a lot in any of the films that holds up really. But you know, there's like but that's a it's pretty preposterous. It's like suddenly, I mean, like. Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks had one scene together at the top of the Empire State Building. Well, apart from that one, like, there's like, no, I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think so. And then you're <laughs> like, and then they start holding hands, and then they're holding hands. Yeah, there must, must be some fucking great emails to, to lead to that. And, and they're not, then. It's, yeah. That's quite, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's quite, as, um, that's quite an impressive quadruple bill. That was, that was one day. Yeah, it was one day. What else have I watched? Uh, I mean, comedy-wise, I mean, I'm mean, looking at things, like the other guys is really good for the stupid laughs. Oh, yeah, that is so good. That's, that's pretty. But in general, I mean, it's not. It feels like like now you sort of don't want to be watching anything too challenging or dark if you're if you're me um, at the moment. And, and in our yeah. house, we're sort of like trying to trying to steer away from the stuff that maybe before I would have loved, but you know, yeah. Being challenged well, there was this big thing, wasn't there, where, where everyone wanted to watch like Contagion and Outbreak and all those things. And I, I did watch them, and I thought, oh, this is great watching these things. Now, I don't want to see that sort we, of stuff. We watched Contagion as for, for research like a month or so ago, and I immediately regretted it, because in my dreams, they've all seeped into one big film and, and with reality. So, yeah. Uh, um, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty weird. Dude, I feel like we've had you for ages, and I, I feel like I should let you go. Um, but... I wanted to. There's one. Yeah, my, food, my food is arrived, so ah, I'm going to go and eat it. Nice. As 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 one final question, uh, Alan from Houston yeah. asked, uh, "What are Taika Waititi and Dan Smith's best bird call impressions?" Have you got bird one? call. Yeah. Have you, have you got Have you got one? I, I got this. I got one. Okay. Here, birdie, 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 birdie. Come on, come on, come on, buddy. Dude, you wiped the floor with anything that I could have done. Um, thank you so so much. It's so nice to see you, man. Thank you for thanks so much for joining yes, us. Yes, you too, brother. Thank you Miss for you, man. Miss, Miss, you here. Miss you too, mate. Take care. Yeah, Love yeah. yourselves. Stay right. sane. Lots of Thanks love. Everyone. Lovely to Bye, uh, lovely to hang out a little bit. Yeah, nice. Take to see care. You, man. Take care. All the best. Bye. Lots of love. <laughs>